Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and it's been a hot minute since I brought an Overwatch tip video. And I feel like I say that with every single tip video, but it's understandable because when we're going into the fourth year of Overwatch, a large majority of the player base has at least learned Overwatch, or they're just too stubborn to change their ways, and that's what's preventing them from climbing. But whether you're a seasoned Overwatch player that's been playing the game since day one, or you're just getting into Overwatch on the Nintendo Switch, whether you're a bronze rank or grandmaster rank, I truly do feel like if you play on console, you can at at least take one of these tips away to instantly make you better at Overwatch. Now the title might seem familiar because a couple months ago I did make a video talking about five ways that can make you instantly better at the game. But the difference between that video and this video is that that video was focused on all platforms of Overwatch, PC and console, and a large majority of the tips were free things that you can do right this second without having to spend a single dime. And while this video will still give you tips that will make you better at the game, it's gonna cost you a little bit of that bread. And if if you're sitting there and be like, oh bro, you whack, I want to get better, but I don't have any money, then go watch that video. Guarantee you, you will learn something that will make you better. And if you go to that video and you're still complaining about Overwatch, then I don't know what to tell you. There comes a point in time where you have to look yourself in the mirror and truly be honest with yourself. Are you prioritizing getting better at the game or are you just waiting for some magical thing that's not at all real to make you better at the game? For me, I wasn't waiting for the second option. So I invested time into getting better at the game. And I also invested some of my own money at better equipment to make me better at the game. So that's why I'm going to be relaying what I did to make me better at the game so that hopefully it can shine light on something that you might not have realized. However, this isn't going to be a sponsored video. In fact, I'm not sponsored by anybody. It's just going to give you tips that I did to maybe make you better. But this also isn't a video where you need to show your parents see like, see mom, see dad, bro, you wax good at the game. You need to buy me this. No. Okay, parents, if you're watching this, don't buy your kids anything. Make them get Get a job so that they can go spend their own money on stuff that they want. And the first thing that I invested in to make me a better Overwatch player on console is that I bought a monitor. This is a mistake that I see so many console Overwatch players make, but it's playing on a big flat screen TV. I'm talking about a 70 inch OLED TV that's taking up the whole entire wall. I can see the idea, but the problem with the big screen TV is that it has a big surface area, which means that your eyes are traveling a lot farther than if you were just to play on a 23 inch monitor right in front of you, like about, I would say less than two feet away from your face. And I get it, your console's probably in the living room on the big screen TV because it's the whole entire family's console. It's your brothers, your sisters, your dads, your dogs, your weird uncles that come to your house and steals your tamales Christmas day. So I'm not trying to say that you need to steal your console out of your living room, put it in your room and plug in a monitor for you to have a better Overwatch experience. But what I am saying is, is that if it is your console and if you are playing in a room on a big screen TV maybe invest in a monitor <laughs> now you could be asking yourself well what monitor do I get bro you whack well just like I said at the beginning of the video I'm not sponsored by anybody so I'm not gonna tell you the exact brand that you need to get in fact you don't need an exact brand what you want to look for is a monitor that has a very low response time and this is also another reason why you don't want to play on a big screen TV because when you have a low response time on a monitor that means any input that gets put into the monitor in this case movement from your Overwatch character from the console, it's gonna appear on the screen a lot more faster. When you have images that appear a lot more faster, that means you're able to have a lot more fast reaction time, which means you're gonna be a lot better at the game. Now, the monitor that I have has a five millisecond response time, which is fantastic. However, there's monitors out there that have a one millisecond response time, and those cost 10,000 times more than the one that I have. If you can afford it, go ahead. But the difference between five milliseconds and one millisecond is very minute. But the difference between five milliseconds seconds and a hundred milliseconds is drastically different. So that's why you want to have as low as you can possibly get, but without breaking the bank. Now the second thing that will make you better at a console overwatch is something that isn't so detailed as say a monitor, but is still just as important, if not even more important. And it's going to be getting a headset. Now I have talked about this before, even in my video where I talked about free things that you can do because I did use the examples of using Apple headphones or heck, even those gummy headphones that cost like $5. But guys, it's 2019. Invest in a headset, whether you're a PC, but importantly for console. This will not only give you important information without you even needing to look at the screen. Like let's say Reaper was flanking behind me and I was playing Roadhog. Well, I know not to just waste my hook on some rando in front of me because I can use it to stun the Reaper behind me and I can focus and instantly kill him. That's one reason why you want to use a headset. But another reason why you want to use a headset is because now you can actually communicate with your team. Now I know that scares a 
lot of people, ooh, talking to people, I don't want to do that. And that's fine. I understand. Social anxiety is a thing and that's totally valid. Here's what I will say though. If climbing in Overwatch is important to you, then you need to get over your fear of social anxiety. Just like in the real world, you're going to have to talk to people if you want things done. And if you're fine with your team not being able to get on board with your plan because you're not talking with them, then okay, keep losing. But just by simply having a headset where you're able to tell your Zarya, hey, use your grav, I have my dragon blade, let's slice and dice these kids, then it will take you a long way. By you not wanting to talk with your team, it's gonna stop you from climbing. And in terms of the headset that you need to get, again, not sponsored, but you just need to find somebody that has a mic for you to talk in and that also has sound in the head cups, which is why it's called a headset. And on PlayStation, you do need to change the setting where you're able to get sound through your headset, but you're still able to talk to. But other than that, you don't need anything specific. Now, the third thing that will quite literally make you better at Overwatch on console is such a cheap investment that I don't know why more people aren't doing this, but it's playing on an ethernet connection. Now, I'm pretty sure a large majority of the console Overwatch population is playing on Wi-Fi because I see so many people talking about how they're lagging or how they're disconnecting from games or how they're banned from competitive where an ethernet cable will wipe all of your internet problems away depending on how good your Wi-Fi is. But, but that's the beauty about playing on an ethernet connection is that it doesn't take in consideration Wi-Fi because you're hardwired in. Now, again, I probably will have to make a separate video going into detail about this because some people really don't see the benefit of playing on an ethernet connection when it helps in more ways than you can ever imagine. And it's such a cheap way to solve all your internet problems. But there is one con when playing with an ethernet cable and that is the cable itself. You're gonna need to drag that ethernet cable to wherever your modem's at. Now, luckily my modem's in my office. So I just needed a five foot ethernet cable and plug it into my Xbox to my modem. But if your modem is in your dad's office or on the other side of the house, you're gonna need a really long cable. And depending on how dedicated you are to playing Overwatch better and being the best that you possibly can be, you're gonna need Shella a little bit extra money to get a longer cable. And also hope that you don't have a dog that decides to chew the ethernet cable because then not only do you waste money, but you also disconnect from the game. <laughs> now let's talk about the fourth thing that you can do to play better on console. Now this is something that I did and it's worked wonders for me, but it's playing on a desk where your monitor is placed on your desk, you have a chair and you're sitting at eye level. Remember how I said you don't want to play on a big screen TV? Well, yeah, you also want to invest in a monitor, but also not have it where you're looking on top of like your dresser or something. You want to be looking at it at eye level. Now, again, th this is where it could possibly get expensive where you're not only investing in a monitor, but also investing in a desk and a chair. But you can easily go to Goodwill and find a $20 desk and maybe get one of your dining room chairs and sit in it and play at a much more comfortable angle. When you're playing on a big screen TV where you're straining your eyes to look up, not only is it hurting your eyes, but it's hurting your neck and back, which means that you're not, you're, your body's not focused on the game. Your body is focusing on the pain that you're putting yourself through by looking up at an awkward angle. Or if you're looking at eye level, not only can you play for longer periods of time because you won't be sore, but you'll be a lot more comfortable, which means that you're going to play a lot more better because you're comfortable. And I understand why most people might not be playing Overwatch at eye level on a monitor on a desk and chair, and it's because a console is seen as a casual video game experience where you're supposed to lounge on the couch and play while laying down or whatnot. But when you're playing a competitive game like Overwatch, you need to be sitting in the proper posi the proper position. Again, that's just how I play. You don't have to listen to me, but if you want to get better, that's how all the pros play, and that's also how I play. Not saying I'm a pro, but... <laughs> and do you want to know the fifth thing that will make you a better Overwatch player if you're playing on console? It's the most secret thing that most people don't realize that if they start doing right this second, it will not only take them all the way to Grandmaster, I guarantee it, and possibly even get them into the Overwatch League, assuming that they play on PC or switch over to PC. Are you ready to hear it, boys and girls? practice. I don't care if I said you need to practice in my last video. I don't care if I said this in my last 10 videos. Practicing is the key to getting better at Overwatch. I could try to sell you on all the monitors and all the controllers and all the headsets to maybe make you better at Overwatch, but those are only tools to possibly make you better at Overwatch. But the monitor doesn't control your Reaper play. The, the controller doesn't play your Genji play. The, the headset doesn't help you become a better Rodok. No, you become a better Rodok. You become a better soldier. You become a better Reaper and the only way that you can truly do that is by practicing whether it's simply by going into the Autobot training method 
and playing McCree and practicing your headshots or just literally playing the game, that is the best way, the number one way to get better at Overwatch. Here's a little story I'll tell you. So you guys know Jake, right? From the Houston Outlaws, one of the best DPS in the Overwatch League. Maybe not the best, but he's in the Overwatch League for a reason. Want to know how he got into top 500 in like season two, maybe even season one? He got to top 500 by playing on a Mac. A Mac, a, a Macintosh, a computer made by Apple. Anybody that plays on a PC or anybody in the gamer world knows that that is the worst way that you can play video games, especially an FPS game, because apples aren't made for gaming. They're made for media. They're made for content creation. So the fact that he was able to get to top 500 just shows that you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on equipment. In fact, I don't even know if his Mac was his. It might have been given to him by the school. You just need to practice. You need to play the game a lot. Jake, he practiced Overwatch, but he also had years of FPS experience before by playing a lot of TF2 and other video games. All that practice transferred into Overwatch where he had the skill to aim. He didn't need the equipment. He was just freaking good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get better at Overwatch on console, but honestly, just better at Overwatch in general. I did title this on console, but it's because most console players need all these tips because a lot of these PC players are already doing all this but some of y'all you need to wake up and realize you need to maybe get a monitor a headset but more importantly practice and also get a freaking job bro <laughs> I love you guys thank you guys for watching more watch videos to come and bye